path of a righteous man is beset on all sides by the inequities of the selfish and the tyranny of evil men. Blessed is he who is the name of charity and goodwill, shepherds the weak through the valley of darkness, for he is truly his brother's keeper and the finder of lost children. And I will strike down upon thee with great vengeance and furious anger for those who attempt to poison and destroy my brothers. And you will know my name is the Lord when I lay my vengeance upon thee. Hey. When I'm sad, I be dreaming about a hundred racks. I'm paper chasing, ain't no faking where them honey's at. Said I'm gon' get it on the bad day, I know that's a fact. It ain't enough, so sure enough, no, we gon' run it back. It's a little hoodlum, but I always been a classy act. If it ain't paying, then what's the point in laughing back? We move in silence, peace or violence, if it's that, it's that. Easy E and my boy Harlow got me sporting black on black. There I go, switching the flow of things like I control the scene. I hit my shoulder lean, they used to skip me and now they notice me. If you want my undivided, then you pay the open fee. Check the debt, I showed respect and now I feel it so to me. We bout action, I ain't known to speak, just putting over T. I got a dream that my baby's known respect the older me. That's the difference being a king with just the look, we know the sheep. Life's a game to these cowards, when we see him, you know it's beef. When I'm sad, I be dreaming about a hundred racks. I'm paper chasing. Ain't no faking where them honeys at Said I'm gon' get it on the bad day, I know that's a fact It ain't enough, so sure enough, no, we gon' run it, run it, run it When I'm sad, I be dreaming about a hundred racks I'm paper chasing, ain't no faking where them honeys at Said I'm gon' get it on the bad day, I know that's a fact It ain't enough, so sure enough, no, we gon' run it, run it, run it back Okay, we're out here, man. Shit, we're just gonna get right into it. We're not even gonna. We're just doing one song, and we are getting at it. What's up, y'all? Man, we don't we don't do emergency pause. We don't do emergencies, but this is an emergency. I woke up. I mean, I heard it last night. I was up until like one one thirty or so, uh, and I um, <clears throat> wanted to make sure that it was real, you know. Uh, but Drake has dropped taylor made and it is not fucking bad at all and i was honestly uh i've been a drake fan uh drake fan for quite a while um and i want to hear from you all i want to hear from you all because I, I i definitely think that there's a lot of you know discussion that needs to happen about this but um i have it uh i've been a drake fan for a while but right now he is really uh he's i don't know he's separating himself uh and and especially for me in like in a hip-hop sense uh obviously this is like one of the biggest troll songs ever and if you guys haven't heard it yet we're gonna listen to it here shortly but again drake drops taylor made um and he uh folks are saying like ai uh because he used tupac's uh vocal inflection uh not inflection excuse me like uh tonality um, so I guess he ran it through like a voice generator on that piece there. Um, and then also, um, Snoop Dogg. So I don't like, I wonder what Snoop's going to fucking say. I don't even know if he ran that by Snoop, you know, if like, uh, if he was like, yo, Hey, big dog, uh, you know, uh, I'm going to be doing this and I hope that you're okay with it. Um, so that's even, that's another thing that, you know, is unfolding as we speak about that. And then of course he ends it uh with a third verse of his own and it begs a question because it, it does it does make me think like um is he opening uh, you know is there a can of worms is being opened that's outside of um that's outside of just disc records because now as, as we listen you know uh you know involving Tupac's uh just just even just like an AI voice inflection or you know um manipulation of the of his voice because you when we hear it you can obviously tell that it's fucking uh you know it's Drake uh like that wrote it and just ran it through like a a Tupac voice generator or some shit <laughs> uh 
Um, but does it open up like the you know the West Coast question? Like, uh, is he is he is everyone like looking at Kendrick right now? Um, and being like, hey man, step up or don't? I guess you know. At this point, for me, I mean, I think he lost. It has to be something pretty ridiculous. I was talking to my friend uh, Nick the other day, and we were going over this. And I mean, it's got to be pretty personal, or something uh, like a, a whole ass video, or like something that really sets the sets you apart uh, from what has been released already. Because right now Drake is beyond up. Um, because we're gonna hear it, and 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 Drake is like, you know, I mean, he's on fire. You know what I'm saying? He's like, he's like, well, it's, and talking currently, so you know that it's real for sure. And obviously, he posted it on his page on Champagne Poppy. And uh, first off, don't like saying Champagne Poppy. By the way, hate that. Don't say that again. Um, but yeah, like he, uh, no, he, he brings up the fact that it's been a week and we haven't heard from you yet. So like speaking directly into current landscapes and how much that, uh, how relevant is that is like in question for not many, you know, honestly, because like, if you're going to look, man, if you're going to drop one disc record, okay. And and with with how recency bias works, um, because Drake has released his second one, I mean, most of us are like, yeah, well, it's Drake. Drake's winning this. And and is that, you know, is that wild? Does that does that propel Drake to um I mean, he did get annihilated by Pusha, you know? I don't know, man. Drake's winning big right now. He's winning big. And also, J. Cole, you know, he's just in his lane. And so, like, now you just know that J. Cole's, like, in his lane, and that's, like, it. You know? Like, it's not like, uh, you know, we don't look at J. Cole anymore, you know? It's like, well, he, I mean, J. Cole makes incredible music. And the rest of that project is really great. Hi. Shout out to Daylight Absol. Incredible. Ready 24. I'm ready. Man, that shit stays on repeat. But Drake took the ball and releases a diss track, another one, another one at midnight called Taylor Made. Do we know is is he is 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 he signed to Taylor Swift? Is that the case? I haven't even googled that. I'm normally quick on the Google train. Kendrick Lamar, Taylor Swift signed. Um Okay, so there is no mention of Kendrick Lamar and Taylor Swift signing any documents or agreements together. Okay, all right. So maybe, I don't know where this is coming from. I just know that it's, it's hap you know, it's happening. Um, but he released it with Tupac voice tonality and snoop dogg's voice tonality again do not know snoop dogg what he's gonna say has he released a statement yet do we even know that why is no one talking about that let's just hit news nothing doesn't look like what does what 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 you know what does Snoop Dogg say? Oh my God, guys. When we listen to this, 
you know? And if you haven't listened already, it's in the it's in the description. So you could save it. I'm sure it'll hit a uh, DSPs next Friday. You just release push-ups. Also, push-ups. Hey, disrespectful ass cover. A size seven shoe sticker. <laughs> You're a troll, dude. You're a troll. That's fucking amazing. You're a troll. Be a troll. That's tight. A size seven, a size seven shoe sticker. Hold on, I'm getting a couple text messages. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I woke up this morning and I was thinking about it. I was just like, so Mickey Fax, this is what I'm, let me reel, let me reel it. Let me run it back. Mickey Fax was, re- I think he was on PSA with three. And brought up that he thought that Kendrick was dropping on Friday. Man, I was looking, you know, and Mickey Fax, I was confident in you. I was just hoping, honestly, just uh, was hoping that fucking Kendrick just dropped it any time. Anyway, but yesterday comes and goes. No diss track from Kendrick. You know why this is important? Fucking hip hop at at a at a mainstream level. Um that we haven't seen like a dis, you know, a, a feud, this uh, entrenched or real. Since I think I, I would, I would I, I, honestly, since uh, like Nas J, like so anticipated. Did you guys know this? J released Takeover at Summer Jam in July or June of 2001. Was it 2001, 2002, 2001? Um, I was I looked it up because I was like, oh man, I fucking remember that that uh, Nas like released something like super quick right after. Hey, not super quick at all. You know, you know, it t- it December fourth on Jay Z's birthday. That's how long. Six months, five months. Before he released his track. <laughs> my my buddy uh, brought up a good point, though, that, um, you know, before you release songs with albums and there wasn't like a lot, you know, you weren't, you know, your singles were only connected to your albums. So I guess I give Nas, you know, Nas the, that credit. Also, that was 23 years ago. So, also, Rick Ross released a track within hours. And I was saying that I like that song. I like the beat. I, I've always been a fan of Rick Ross's flow. I appreciate that. I don't know. What is Kendrick doing? What is Kendrick doing? Oh, man, guys. You know? Here we go. Let's go here. Okay, you guys ready to hear it? Some of you guys have already heard it. Doesn't matter. We're going to listen right now. Illuminati. Does rise again. You can see it in my eyes again. Guys, hold on a minute. I mean, starting... Okay. And this is, and this is why... What's up, Venom? Smoke a blunt to this, yeah. Um, and this is why this tripped me out this morning at like one something, you know, because I was like, there's no way Tupac is on. Because we have been hearing all these AI tracks. That one um, that one recent song that uh, <clears throat> came out, Owl, Owl Hunting. <clears throat> anyway, so I heard, I hear, Tupac, I'm like, there's no 
is fucking insane. So to start it off again. And it sounds like a drape me. Illuminati. Does rise again. You can see it in my eyes again. You know, that beat first off, I mean, you know? Couldn't stop laughing. You know? Um Yeah, great beat. Knocker. Let's go. We're gonna run it back again. Here we go. <clears throat> Illuminati. Does rise again. You can see it in my eyes again. I disagree with that. Kendrick, we need ya. The West Coast savior. Ain't great in your name. It's a Kendrick, we need you, West Coast savior. Oh, my God, bro. Come on. Come on. Stop. Stop. Come on, bro. That is. What are we doing, guy? What are we doing? I disagree with this. Honestly, just publicity at this point makes people go back to the catalogs and run up plays for every artist. <clears throat> I, I disagree. Uh, heavily with that obviously publicity is within any song that you drop so you know you hope that they go, you know any song that you drop you hope that folks go back and listen to your other stuff i think at this at this point this is definitely this is definitely he he says it at the end of this song i don't did you listen to the whole thing because he's like yo come on we're waiting on you it's like yo hip-hop's waiting on you also Different thumbnail for Drake here. I don't like. I don't like this. Hip hop history. If you deal with this viciously, you seem a little nervous about all the publicity. Oh my God! Ain't great in your name. Kendrick, we need ya. The West Coast savior. Ain't great in your name. It's some hip hop history. If you deal with this viciously, you seem a little nervous about all the publicity. For this Canadian light skin doc, we need to know the baby West Coast victory, man. Oh my God. What is, does Kendrick even need? Oh, damn it. I just, uh, you know. What if Kendrick says nothing? What if Kendrick says nothing? I mean, Pulitzer Prize winner, you know? Incredible albums. You got to say something, right? Because you, I mean, you restarted it with like that, you know? I'm like trying to go in my head about like, okay, well, you know what? Fuck it. Let's move on, you know? Fuck it. Get some time. <laughs> My friend just said Kendrick's cooked. <laughs> wow. Um Yeah, I don't I so okay, let's go back. 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 Here we go. Go back a couple of seconds. He didn't know the baby West Coast victory, man. Call him a bitch for me. Talk about him liking young girls. That's a kid for me. Heard it on the button podcast. It's gotta be true. They told me the spirit of my belly is alive. And the nigga under five foot five. So it's gotta be you. I would beat the whole fucking game. It was me and Snoop Dogg. Have my fucking shirt off in the house. Dog, okay, hold on a minute. The five foot five, bro. Come on. Short shaming, dude. Size seven shoes. Short shaming. I wish Pat was on here because he's tall. Pat, I mean, you know, relatively speaking, he's like, what, 6'2 or something like that. I'm 5'11. So I'm not, you know, and I definitely don't have a size 7, I'll tell you that. 
But short shaming? You know how many people in fucking the in in, in Hollywood are four nine? <laughs> he said they were talking about some of five foot five. It had to be you. Yo! And also you can obviously hear that it is Drake's voice. I mean, it, it is, you know, it's his uh yeah, him rapping. House of Blues, can you gotta fuck this dog? Have my fucking shit the whole fucking game. It was me and Snoop Dog. Have my fucking shirt off in the house of blues. Can you gotta fuck this nigga girl? He gotta get abused. All that shit about burning tattoos, he's not amused. That's jail talk for real thugs. You gotta be you. Gotta leave this motherfucker broken and bruised before we really lose. You ask for the smoke, now I seen you too busy for the smoke. I won't lie, the people confused. Now you about to get this shit another week and fall back. I mean, now you're going to give this shit another week? Guys, come on. I mean, just, uh, you know, again. You know, I loved back-to-back. I loved back-to-back. I love what he did against Meek. Yeah, he he did a... Uh, you know, Drake is... Uh, he supported King of the Dot. The battle rap community. So he understands. That's why this doesn't seem like it's like out of pocket, you know, out of his lane per se, even though he makes the songs that he does, you know, it's not like out of the way for him. That's why I appreciate shit like this. So home girl, but running up was up. I would have refused. For these industry relationships, she not in your shoes. You supposed to be the boogie man, go do what you do. Unless it's just a moment that you tell us it's not really you. In that case, there's nothing left to say. I just pass it to snow. Nephew. Nah, it starts with nephew. Nephew. This is what I'm talking about. Does Snoop say something? Snoop's got to say something, right? Snoop's got to be like, what the fuck, Jay? Snoop had to be on fucking Kendrick's and, you know, texting. What the fuck is this, Jay? Like, woke, woke up and lit a blunt up and fucking... My phone's lit up with this Drake shit. Nephew. What are you going to do about this, nephew? Snoop has to say something publicly. You're like, uh, yeah, but I don't know. I, like I said, I don't know if, if Drake hit him up and was like, hey, I'm going to. That would be that would be also fucking wild if he did that. You know? What the fuck you really got to do? We passed you the torch at the House of Blues, and now you got to do some dirty work. You know how to move, right? Right? I know you've never been to jail or was jumpsuits and shower shoes. Never shot nobody, never stabbed nobody, never did nothing violent. And no one is the homies that empower you. But still, you got to show this fucking aisle who's boss on the West. Now's the time to really make a power move. Because right now, it's looking like you're writing out the game plan on how to lose. How to walk up the wrong tree and then get your head pop- oh. Now you're right, because it seems like you're right in the game plan on how to lose. Man, come on, stop. Sometimes, you know, it doesn't have to be super lyrical all the time, man. It just has to be poignant and fucking right into your face, you know? It's just got to be poignant. Got to be a message. There's a lot of battle rappers that do that shit, too, you know? Like, in a battle, like, you, you, you know, they're not all lyrical, miracle, and we don't need them to be, because they're in your face. And they might still have, like, you know, pretty poignant bars. That's, I don't know, man. Drake is really, I really like this shit a lot. I like it a lot. A lot, a lot. Troll level, fucking 100. Uh, Lyrics, 90. Maybe 85. All good. Um, uh, Response level, 100. Um. And I know that he said he says on here that he already has another one that's just waiting for it. Waiting, waiting. You writing out the game plan on how to lose, how to bark up the wrong tree and then get your head popped in a crowded room. World is watching this chess game, but are you out of moves? That you know the DOG never fucking doubted you. But right now, it seems like you posted up without a clue of what the fuck you about to do. 
Yeah, um, that's the truth. Woo! See, and this is when I was like, God, that dog. I, I honestly, I almost threw my phone this morning. As soon as Drake came in, I was like, come on, bro. This is crazy. How do you wake up to this if you're Kendrick, you know? You're like, oh, fuck you fucking another one, eh? You dropped another one, eh? All right, well, we need to shoot another video, eh? We need back to backs. I'm definitely about to come around the land gang and let my fucking bowel move. Shitting on you niggas from a whole different altitude. High up in the sky like I'm Howard Hughes. The first one really only took me an hour or two. The next one is really about to bring out the coward in you. But now we gotta wait a fucking week. Cause Taylor Swift is your new top. And if you about to drop, she gotta approve. This girl really about to make you act like you not in a feud. She tailor made your schedule with Ant. You out of the loop. Hate all you corporate industry puppets. I'm not in the mood. I love it when you niggas talk loose like I'm not in the room. Since like that, your tone changed a little. You not as enthused. How are you not in the booth? It feel like you kind of removed. You trying to let this shit die down, nah, 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 not this time, nigga, you following through. I guess you need another week to figure out how to improve. What the fuck is taking so long? We waiting on you. The rest of y'all are definitely involved. Y'all getting it too. Soon as you get the courage to drop, I'm out on the loose. On the loose. Yeah, shout out to Taylor Swift. Biggest gangster in the music game right now. You know, I moved my album when she dropped. I said that already. You know, she about to mini I'm do a milli rock on your head of top. Bro. She got the whole PG Lang on mute like that Beyonce challenge. Y'all boys quiet for the weekend. Like, I, I know you in that NY apartment. You struggling right now. I know it. In the notepad doing lyrical gymnastics, my boy. You better have a motherfucking quintuple entendre on that shit. Some shit I don't even understand. Like, shit better be crazy. We waiting on you. <laughs> You better drop a quintuple on Tondra. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, Eli. Yeah, he dropped another one this morning at midnight. We're going to run it back, though. We're going to listen again. We'll listen again. Let's talk about that, though. That's a. Uh, Again, I go back to, hey, you're using Tupac's tonality, Snoop Dogg's tonality. We want to hear from Snoop Dogg. Do we have to hear from Snoop Dogg? I want to hear from Snoop Dogg. No one's talking about that part. What's Snoop going to say? What's what's Unk going to say, you know? <clears throat> Kendrick, you're on the clock, bro. I mean, you've been on the clock. Been on the clock, my G. It's uncomfortable a little bit because you're like, yo, well, you know, fuck it. Who cares, man? Who cares? Drake hit me with two two disc records. I still have a Pulitzer Prize. And dropped an I, you know, dropped a, that iconic album and damn, you know? Which is an iconic album. It's a great album. Incredible album. I need I you know, I've been going through like comments and shit. I'm a comment hunter. And I am I am not a Kendrick Lamar stan. I really do like Kendrick a lot, but I I I'm not really a stan for anyone anymore, really to be honest. But boy, the gaggling, you know? The glizzy eating. The cucumber throating of his fans right now, man. It's crazy. You guys are drowning right now. Looking for excuses. As a hip-hop fan, I just want to see it done. I just want to see it happen. I just want to see it happen. You know? Because using two of his favorites... Tupac and Snoop Dogg, 100% troll move, man. Eli, let's run it back. Here we go. And you know what? We're going to just run it all the way through, all right? I'm not going to stop it. Illuminati. 
Illuminati does rise again. You can see it in my eyes again. Kendrick, we need ya. The West Coast savior. Ain't great in your name and some hip hop history. If you deal with this viciously, you seem a little nervous about all the publicity. Call this Canadian light skin doc. We need to know the baby West Coast victory, man. Call him a bitch for me. Talk about him liking young girls. That's a kid for me. Heard it on the Budden podcast. It's gotta be true. They told me the spirit of my belly is alive. And the nigga under five foot five. So it's gotta be you. I would beat the whole fucking game. It was me and Snoop Dogg. Had my fucking shirt off in the house of blues. K, you gotta fuck this nigga, girl. He gotta get abused. All that shit about burning tattoos. He is not amused. That's jail talk for real thugs. You gotta be you. Gotta leave this motherfucker broken and bruised before we really lose. You ask for the smoke. Now I seen you too busy for the smoke. I won't lie. The people confused. Now you about to get this shit another week and fall back to home, girl. Go run the numbers up. I would have refused. For these industry relationships, she not in your shoes. You supposed to be the boogie man. Go do what you do. Unless this is a moment that you tell us it's not really you. In that case, there's nothing left to say. I just pass it to Snow. God damn it. Yes, you. What the fuck you really got to do? Crazy. You passed you the torch at the House of Blues, and now you got to do some dirty work. You know how to move, right? Right? I know you've never been to jail or was jumpsuits and shower shoes. Never shot nobody, never stabbed nobody. Never did nothing violent and no one. It's the homies that empower you. But still, you gotta show this fucking aisle who's boss on the West. Now's the time to really make a power move. Cause right now it's looking like you're writing out the game plan on how to lose. How to bark up the wrong tree and then get your head popped in a crowded room. World is watching this chess game, but are you out of moves? That you know the DOG never fucking got a Jew. But right now, it seems like you posted up without a clue of what the fuck you about to do. Yeah, um, that's the truth. I'm definitely about to come around the land gang and let my fucking bow move. Shitting on you niggas from a whole different altitude. High up in the sky like I'm Howard Hughes. The first one really only took me an hour or two. The next one is really about to bring out the coward in you. But now we gotta wait a fucking week. Cause Taylor Swift is your new top. And if you about to drop, she gotta approve. This girl really about to make you act like you not in a few. She tailor made your schedule with Ant. You out of the loop. Hate all you corporate industry puppets. I'm not in the mood. I love it when you niggas talk loose like I'm not in the room Since like that Your tone changed a little You not as enthused How are you not in the booth It feel like you kinda removed You trying to let this shit die down Nah, nah, nah Not this time nigga You following through I guess you need another week To figure out how to improve What the fuck is taking so long We waiting on you The rest of y'all are definitely involved Y'all getting it too Soon as you get the courage to drop I'm out on the loose On the loose Yeah, shout out to Taylor Swift Biggest gangster in the music game right now. You know, I moved my album when she dropped. I said that already. You know, she about to mini run, do a milli rock on your head top. Bro. She got the whole PG laying on mute like that Beyonce challenge. Y'all boys quiet for the weekend. Like, I, I know you in that NY apartment. You struggling right now. I know it. In the notepad doing lyrical gymnastics, my boy. You better have a motherfucking quintuple entendre on that shit. Some shit I don't even understand. Like, shit better be crazy. We waiting on you. Yeah. Well. Okay. <laughs> guys, you guys, if you, uh, I just posted on uh, Twitter as well. Um, and you see the link there. If you want to hop in and discuss, we're happy to have some discussion about this. <clears throat> well, I mean, great job, man. You know, great job. He's on fire. Bang, 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 bang. Um, bang, bang. Eli, what are your thoughts on that? You know, I just want like there's uh so much to be. I mean, see, like even this shit was uh, like to be not. Fish tanks and marble floors, living big and bad. Niggas laugh until they hit with my official jab. Crack smoke is the exhaust from my pen and pad. Ghost writers. Okay, so that's just being selfish. That's my fault. That's being selfish. I apologize about that. Um, I don't know. It's up to you, Kendrick. 
And I am a big fan. Not a stand, though. I just like to see the fist. I just like to see it. I just like to see it. I think there's a... Oh, I just got a text. Hold on. <laughs> Homie said, you are a stand. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. <clears throat> I just want to see a good battle. I mean, obviously. But I think that... I think that with how it's going now, you know, we're sitting in a place. I mean, we're, you know what? We're going to run it back one more time. Let me pull it back up. Hold on. We're going to put, we're going to, third time's a charm, you know? Hold on. One second. Before we do, though, you know, keep talking a little bit here. Um, I think I think what's I think for me personally Dre, oh, for, first off Kendrick can't wait another week, right? Remember how crazy last Saturday was? Drake dropped the diss, le the leak and then it's fucking official on at, you know I was glued to, uh DJ Academics YouTube all day last Saturday and you know Iran <laughs> bomb in Israel. So though, I was going, I was switching back and forth between those two. Me and my boy Nick, we were just, we were just on the phone with like forever. But how exciting was that? That was crazy. Like every other, you know. And then Rick Ross drops his. Are we are we in store for a crazy Saturday? It's only nine o'clock. About to be nine o'clock. This one is light compared to the first, but I like the concept. Was this an official drop or a leak? Uh, this was an official drop. I mean, it's not on DSPs yet. It was, uh, Drake put it on his, uh, Instagram. So this, this is official. This is official. Now, because you said that it's light compared to the first, but you like the concept. I think that the concept is better. I think that the concept is exponentially better. Than just releasing a diss track. It's like, nah, ma nah, man, we're just going to start hitting you now. It's almost like I'm just going to start hitting you. Nah, he's on the clock the more he waits. Yeah. Exactly. Release it today. Release something. Even a, a, a like a... You know, honestly, you can't just release something, actually. Now that I'm thinking about it. I was going to say, well, release a verse. Ah, we're going to need more Nat. We're going to need more Nat. We need more Nat, Kendrick. Yeah, bars-wise, yeah, for sure. Yeah, no, that's why, uh, again, troll meter, troll rating, 100. Lyricism, like 85. But that's okay. Poignancy. A hundred. Relevancy, a hundred. Virality, a hundred. <laughs> oh my God, you know? But he is on the clock. He is on the clock. What do you, what, there's, there's something to be said about how hip hop is reacting to this right now. Like the culture, the community, not just the battle rap community. I'm getting like hip hop as a whole. And I think it's been fairly, you know, positive. Simba's dropped a diss track. Everyone's dropping diss tracks. Shit. Easy the block captain and Hitman Holla have exchanged, you know, dropping diss tracks against each other. New Jersey twerk, uh, twerk he's trolling the shit out of Easy. All right, that's all I got right now, man. I hope, uh, I hope we come. I hope we, I hope we get something from you, Kendrick. You know, this is a fan of hip hop. Less and not as exactly as much as like being a fan of. That's it. Just a fan of hip hop. Just need it. And Drake is egging it on. He's egging it on. 
We're going to play it one more time, and then we're going to get out of here. Illuminati. Does rise again. You can see it in my eyes again. We need ya, the West Coast savior. Ain't gravy your name and some hip hop history. If you deal with this viciously, you seem a little nervous about all the publicity. For this Canadian light skin doc, we need to know the baby West Coast victory, man. Call him a bitch for me. Talk about him liking young girls as a kid for me. Heard it on the button podcast, it's gotta be true. They told me the spirit of Machiavelli is alive, and the nigga under five foot five, so it's gotta be you. I would beat the whole fucking game. It was me and Snoop Dogg, have my fucking shirt off in the house of blues. K, you gotta fuck this nigga, girl, he gotta get abused. All that shit about burning tattoos, he is not amused. That's jail talk for real thugs, you gotta be you. Gotta leave this motherfucker broken and bruised before we really lose. You ask for the smoke, now I seen you too busy for the smoke, I won't lie. The people confused Now you about to get this shit another week And fall back to home, girl But run another's up I would have refused For these industry relationships She not in your shoes You supposed to be the boogie man Go do what you do Unless this is a moment That you tell us It's not really you In that case There's nothing left to say I just pass it to snow Wow That's you What the fuck you really got to do We passed you the torch At the house of blues And now you got to do Some dirty work You know how to move Right, right. I know you've never been to jail or was jumpsuits and shower shoes. Never shot nobody, never stabbed nobody. Never did nothing violent and no one. It's the homies that empower you. But still, you gotta show these fucking aisles who's boss on the West. Now's the time to really make a power move. Cause right now it's looking like you're writing out the game plan on how to lose. How to bark up the wrong tree and then get your head popped in a crowd of room. World is watching this chess game, but are you out of moves? Dot, you know the DOG never fucking doubted you. But right now, it seems like you posted up without a clue of what the fuck you about to do. Yeah, um, that's the truth. I'm definitely about to come around the lane gang and let my fucking bow move. Shitting on you niggas from a whole different altitude. High up in the sky like I'm Howard Hughes. The first one really only took me an hour or two. The next one is really about to bring out the coward in you. But now we gotta wait a fucking week. Cause Taylor Swift is your new top. And if you about to drop, she gotta approve. This girl really about to make you act like you not in a few. She tailor made your schedule with Ant. You out of the loop. Hate all you corporate industry puppets. I'm not in the mood. I love it when you niggas talk loose like I'm not in the room Since like that Your tone changed a little You not as enthused How are you not in the booth It feel like you kind of removed You trying to let this shit die down Nah, nah, nah Not this time, nigga You following through I guess you need another week To figure out how to improve What the fuck is taking so long We waiting on you The rest of y'all are definitely involved Y'all getting it too Soon as you get the courage to drop I'm out on the loose On the loose Yeah, shout out to Taylor Swift What's up? Biggest gangster in the music game right now. <laughs> you know, I moved my album when she dropped. I said that already. You know, she about to mini run, do a milli rock on your head top. Bro. She got the whole PG laying on mute like that Beyonce challenge. Y'all boys quiet for the weekend. Like, Dot, I know you in that NY apartment. You struggling right now. I know it. Oh. In the notepad doing lyrical gymnastics, my boy. You better have a motherfucking quintuple entendre on that shit. Some shit I don't even understand. Like, shit better be crazy. We waiting on you. Oh my god. <laughs> so what motivated you to make this song? Uh, wow. I mean, Quintuple Entendre, he's got a uh, you know, bang, shit like that. Bang, 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 bang. He's going to need to uh he should make that a shirt. Quintuple Entendre. That'd be that's just make that shirt quintuple entendre. Well, that's what I got, man. I mean, uh, I just, I, I, you know, so much going on. Appreciate y'all. Emergency, emergency, emergency. Uh, you know, we don't, I, I think this is the first time I just like, you know, like, oh man, we got to talk about this right now. Um, if Kendrick drops something today, I'll be back. If Kendrick drops something today, I'll be back. If he drops something tomorrow, I'll be back. Hey, man, 
I didn't even say this at all throughout the whole video, but click like. And that's good. And then um, if you're uh, uh, the folks on Twitter, um, if you can retweet it, that'd be great. If you want to quote it, that'd be great. Appreciate the support from both the battle rap community and just hip hop in general. Man, Hendrick, please, hey. It's time for you to come outside, my G. It's time. Come outside. Run it back. Govino Grimes at, at Mike Masters 801 on everything. We're out.